Okay, so I'm going to, to talk about something that I usually face uh, or usually faced when I was building dashboards with Angular or any other framework actually, but uh, I found a solution in Angular material. So in the SDK that they built, the SDK, if you don't know about it, you can use it with any other f um, with any other library that provide um, Angular components. So you can use it with uh, just Angular or you can use it with... Uh, Prime ng, uh, Bootstrap ng, uh, and design com Angular components. You can just use them anywhere. So they don't require the designs or the styles or the components from Angular material. And they have really useful stuff. So the first thing is the common behavior. They have the, the layout, which I used a lot. Even if, even that projects I don't use Angular material, I download the SDK and use the layout. The layout gives you, like, uh, they put an observer on the screen. It's like it's not literally but that's what they do and they will just emit any events when the screen resized and just tell you what the current screen size is which is useful um, the th other thing the clipboard a drag and drop it's very helpful that they did that which you can use anywhere and the one I'm talking about is the scrolling so when I build usually dashboards, there is always that case when the user has so many data and they just want to dump it all in the dashboard. They don't want to have uh, pagination. They just want it all. Um, which I think is fine. I mean, at the end, we always listen to the customers. But uh, the issue is the page will be very, very slow. Even though I... Let's say you optimize your backend to return the, the response really, really fast. This will still an issue. This is a front-end issue that will make your page lags. So I can show it to you. So let's say uh, in my app component, ignore all the code, okay? Let me just comment it out. So I have this items array, array from length 100,000. So I will have an empty array with 100,000 elements. And Sorry, not an empty array. I will have an array with 100,000 elements, and for each element, I will just replace it with the name, well, with the, the string, so item and its index. So this is a huge array. And this, this try to just to render it with the normal ng4. Let's just see what will happen. Okay? So let me save. I already saved that. So the page is still loading. This is something to notice. So... I'm just rendering some uh, text on the screen using li. <laughs> That's it, and it takes so long to load. Uh, so even even if my backend is fast, th this doesn't matter. Will uh, make your page slow. So and like I said, this is a common thing that you will face if you are building dashboards. So yeah, let's try to fix it with the virtual score. So I already installed Angular Material. Uh, I can't I can't click. I already installed it, so if you go to the home page, get started, you just put ng add, add angular material. It will ask you a bunch of questions, they are really simple, now about the theme, for example. And after you do that, go to the SDK, go to the common behaviors, to scrolling, and go to the API to see how you can import it. This is always the case on anything in angular material, go to the API to see how to, how to import it. So this, you need to import the scrolling module from at angular SDK scrolling, which I already did that here. And I imported it in the module I will use the, its component in. So it's the, in the app module. So this is how you use it. It's called the SDK virtual scroll viewport. And why this happens? Okay. It's this one here. One second. Where? Yeah, okay, this one. Let's take a virtual scroll viewport. So there are so many options. You can scroll vertically, horizontally, uh, and there are so many options. But I will just give you the main idea. Maybe you can uh, read through the docs. So one of the things that uh, is the, this input property, so item size. So this is, uh, I got a little bit confused when I first uh, saw this uh, component. So item size means the size for each item in pixels okay in pixels <laughs> so what i usually do this is just hard coded 50 uh, but I, what i will what i usually do i just get the items length divided by something until i found like a good ratio 
a good value that may that maybe uh will help display the list correctly so you can just play with that that's that's my um, so just make it dynamically and play with it that's my advice so here i will just put it static so 50 and we won't use the normal directive so this is not the ng4 directives they build that and by the way the star directives the directives that start with uh, a star they have a name but i can't i can't remember it's have been a while since i touched angular but uh, they basically modify the dom that's why and there's a good reason why they start with a star i'm pretty sure you can just google that there's so many tutorials about it and they explain why but you need to use this um, directives it uses uh, caching mechanism to not display the whole list it's only it will only display a bunch of them and will just uh, keep recycling the old view with the new data it's basically the recycler uh, viewer from Android <laughs> if you think about it so let me run let me display the same list now uh, with 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 the virtual score so let's see how fast it is so I just want to save it so yeah it's pretty much fast if you ask me so yeah let me save another time and just go yeah it's fast and here it is here is the list which is good I mean there's a lot of items uh, let's let's try to look into the dome itself so yeah let me increase that so as you can see we are bad. my screen is really small so these are the only node domes inside the SDK scroll component this is the only ones and notice what will happen so we are only rendering like one two three we are only rendering six component the six DOM nodes which is huge difference in the previous example we are rendering the whole 1000 this is only six so let me go let me scroll down and notice what will happen to these nodes I mean, they increased, but they are not that much. So one, two, three. So they are now 12. So if you keep scrolling, I think they won't go more than that. Oops. So yeah, it's always 12, which uh, this is the, this is why it's, it's a, a performance boost for your application. You will render only a small, amount of nodes if you compare it to the original uh, amount you were you were displaying so i highly recommend that you read about it and another thing that uh, i might show you that might be useful is how you can use the so the events that is uh, on this component so if you go to the api and search for one second <laughs> and search yeah so there's these things that you can use. Uh, the end bot, this is the orientation. If you have virtual, ver vertical or horizontal. The second thing is this output, the scrolled index change. Emit when the index of the first visible, of the first element visible in the viewport changes. And the second one is this, which, which I find might, which I think it might be useful. A stream that emits whenever the rendered range changes so this is this will tells you uh, the rendered range so from item uh, x in your list to item maybe y so some it will give you something like this and you can use them uh, by the view child so give it the name of the component and here i'm using it so like this it's just i'm just logging out the the things that they provide for us so here i will just log the start the yeah the start and the end of the list that is rendered at the moment just to show you and here is the code if you want to uh, just stop the video and look at it okay let me just show you what will happen now when i scroll with this here oops So yeah, now now it says that it's rendering from one to eight, 
I don't think it's that precise, but uh, definitely helpful. Yeah, now it gives you the range what's uh, what is now displaying. I mean, yeah, I highly recommend that you read the documentation, and this uh, there is so many things you can do with it. And yeah, it's like I said, it's still a huge performance uh, to your front end application. Okay, thank you.